Hello everyone, my name is Bertha and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you like my videos, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And let's get into today's video. So today we are making another sim. No, another zodiac sign as a sim, not the other way around. Today we are making Aquarius as a sim. As always with these kinds of videos, I whipped out my trusty handy dandy astrology book and I have looked up some information about Aquarius. The book that I used is called The Secret Language of Birthdays, written by Gary Goldschneider. So let me ask you guys a question. If you had to guess what element is connected to Aquarius, what do you think it would be? Because I would think it would be water, right? Aquarius, water, makes sense. Well, that is wrong <laughs> because their element is air. And to be honest, I never expected their element to be air. But yeah, anyways, about Aquariuses. This is a sign I know very little about and even with all the information I read, I found it very difficult to form an image in my head of what an Aquarius is like. And yeah, therefore I found it quite hard to make this sim. But from what I know, they generally have a fantastical, childlike, wise outlook on life. Um, which is why I decided to give this sim the childish trait, which I don't see as a negative in this context, by the way. And they are open, accepting people, and they also expect others to accept them as they are too, which also may lead to surprise when they get turned down. They can be quite unpredictable, which is why I gave her the erratic trait. They are said to be eccentric and a bit strange, so I tried to represent this in her clothing style. I also used a lot of color in her clothing, since the colors of the sign Aquarius are fluorescent colors, which I interpreted as bright colors, because I don't think, first of all, we don't have a lot of fluorescent colors, and second of all, the ones that we do have, I don't think they look very good. Anyway, so yeah, fluorescent colors, um, electric blue, which is why I gave her hair this blue color, and silver gray, which I also incorporated in some outfits. But yeah, having fun is essential for these people, and all they want is to be happy and understood. They don't do well with restrictions and need space to develop their imagination. So this made me think that if you were to play with this sim, she would probably be a freelancer, because this would give her much more freedom than when she would have to go to a 9 to 5 job. And also, when confronted with a conflict, Aquariuses can attack in anger or disappear completely, which is why I gave this sim the hot-headed trait. And science and the universal truth are more important to them than anything else, and they try to stay objective at all times. Uh, to represent this part of the sign, I gave this sim the university aspiration, because I thought, you know, university, science, it makes sense in my head, okay? <laughs> and this objective and scientific part of them, however, makes them come across as cold and emotionless to other people. And they are often regarded as superficial, even though they are attracted to the deeper aspects in other people. So, as I said, even after reading all this information, I still didn't really know what kind of person, like Sim, I could make to represent the sign. So, I decided to just go with it, and I really hope you like her. Let me know if you did get some ideas from that description and how you would make the sim because I would love to know what other people would do with this sign. Also, for her everyday wear, you may have seen me give her a uh, denim skirt. <laughs> I remember myself saying in the last Capricorn video, like, I never style skirts, so I hope this is all right. And here I am in like the next video again, giving my sim a denim skirt. So yeah, 
I'm not sure this may become a trend. <laughs> Let's find out. Either way, I gave her this lovely colorful jacket for her everyday outfit and um, for her formal outfit I did end up giving her what would you call that like a two-piece instead of a dress I wanted to give her a dress but I couldn't find one that I thought suited her so I gave her this two-piece and gave her braids like three or four braids and I love that hair it looks a little bit strange but still normal enough and it's a little bit yeah, eccentric. That's what I was trying to go for with this sim anyway, so I absolutely love that hair. In case you missed it, I am gonna use that hair again in her party outfit, so you'll see it soon. For the party outfit, I wanted to do something with the silver grey color that is apparently a color of Aquarius's. So I gave her this um, metallic, I think it is. Yeah, metallic silver. Um, galactic dress which I absolutely love I haven't used it before because I never had a sim that would you know wear something like this but I think it would be perfect for her I started giving her this hair but I changed it up to the braids later on but I really wanted to use this hair as well but I didn't end up doing that because the other ones just look better to me I may use this hair on another sim because I just love the playfulness of it. Also, I, I wanted to ask you guys something completely different, but for my next video, I have some ideas. Of course, I want to continue with this series as well, but I'm gonna post something <laughs> in between this one and the next Zodiac video just to mix it up a bit. But um, I've got three Yes, three ideas in my head. And I would like to know from you which one you would like to see first. I have the idea of doing a current household video. Um, in case you don't know what that is, I would just show off the Sims family that I'm playing off screen, you know, in my spare time. I don't have much of it, but oh well. Anyway, so yeah, a current household video. Um, I was thinking of doing a tiny house build when the new pack comes out. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, but it's gonna be soon anyway, so... A tiny house build, but I'm not a builder. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's gonna be any good. But that's idea number two. And idea number three is... Doing a create a sim video where I make either one or more sims without any CC. Because now that the console players can also access the gallery and stuff. I would like to create some Sims, Sims families without CC so that they can download something from my gallery as well. So please let me know what you would like to see first. I would love to know because I can't choose. <laughs> also, this is kind of random, but I just wanted to shout out Bailey from her channel Bailey because for my current household, so the household that I'm playing off screen, I was looking for a particular kind of home for my sim who would age up soon. Um, yeah, I was looking for a small home in Strangerville and I don't really like the EA houses, <laughs> to be honest, they're always very empty and I'm not a good builder. And she needed tiny home ideas, so I was like, well, you could make a Strangerville trailer because I happen to need that for my gameplay. And she actually did that. And I just saw the video and it looks amazing. So I just wanted to give her a shout out because she makes amazing builds and she deserves so much love. So please go check her out. I will leave a link to her channel in the upper right corner and in the description. So please go give her some love. Also, I love this hot weather outfit. It has long sleeves, so uh, that doesn't really make sense with the hot weather outfit, but you know, maybe it's a lightweight, uh, airy kind of fabric. And it just looks so happy. <laughs> it 
can you use that as a word to describe something? I don't know, but it, it looks just... I love it. You may have noticed that I do give my sim different kind of haircuts. You know, depending on the outfit that they're wearing. And some people do, some people don't. But I like to make it difficult for myself. So I do like to alternate hairstyles. I mean, it's realistic because when you're... When you go to a formal event, you may do your hair up or when you go to a party, you may add some curls or do whatever. I just think it's realistic and I just love creating so many different looks for my sims. Speaking of looks, if there are certain styles and types of custom content that you are looking for and you want more of in your game, for example, bohemian or gothic or whatever, please let me know so maybe I can do a lookbook for you guys with all the links to the custom content so you can discover some new content and download it into your game. Anyway, we are nearing the end of the video, so I just wanted to tell you guys that this sim will be up on the gallery so you can download her and put her into your game. Uh, you can find her by searching the hashtag simmingbird or search for my origin idea, which is also simmingbird. There will be a link to all the custom content that I use in the description of this video, so you can download all the stuff that you want. That is it for now, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!